Hey guys! So I am going to be doing this frequently. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a room tour for all of my dolls. Now since I can't, I don't have any room for a dollhouse and I really can't afford one, um, I'm basically going to set up rooms and then I'm going to take them down as soon as I make the video so that you guys can get a little bit of a, um, you know, a a different view of uh, my dolls personalities and stuff like that and I have so many like doll size stuff that I always wanted to put in a dollhouse but I've never gotten one or had time to um, get one started or the room so now you guys can be able to see all the personalities of my dolls and all the cool accessories that are put into the room and where they're from I just thought this this would be a pretty cool idea I got the idea from AG Smiles because she just did kind of a, a room kind of tour of her um, her dollhouse and her doll room so I figured I'd do something like that alright guys so without further ado we are going to get into the video I've talked long enough and yeah <laughs> alright guys uh, let's get to the video. Alright, so this is Colin's room. Alright, so for Colin's room, I want to put in a couple of boyish kind of things. So over here, we basically have Star Wars. I have this R2-D2 that used to dispense candy, but now it just makes noises when you press this button. Which is really cool. And I got it at Claire's. And then we have this um, life-size Lego Star Wars of Luke Skywalker. And I believe you can get these at like Walmart or Target or something like that. They have new ones now, but um, I got that one for Christmas. And then, I don't know why, I just put this truck over here. And I got it from this thing that my church does called um, the Open Closet. Where we get a bunch of free stuff. So, that was one of the things. But I put it in this room. Alright, so this is Colin's bed. Alright, so it's basically a doll box that one of my dolls probably... I know for sure that they came in. So um, Colin just has two toys that he's playing with. This bear is from that open closet thing that I was telling you guys about. It's a really cute hat and a really cute jacket. And this uh, guy is from this dinosaur set that I got a long time ago. And um, he just looks like a well built. <laughs> Um, toy, I guess. Alright, so I'm just going to take him out for a second. Alright, so his bed is basically a bandana that I got from the dollar store. And there is a striped pillow underneath that my sister made. Oh, uh, what is that? I don't even know what that says. <laughs> she made it a long time ago, so it's really crabby. But, um, yeah, I put it underneath here. So no one really has to see that it's striped or anything like that. And over here we have his penguin that I also got from the open closet and the sparkly ball, which I have no idea where I got this. Probably the dollar store. And then I got this skateboard from the dollar store. And I might spray paint it soon. It's really cool. Um I showed you guys this skateboard as a sneak peek to what doll I was getting next, which was Colin, and I just kind of put it there so that it um, stayed in this room somewhere. Right, so I'm just going to put him back real quick. So over here is his nightstand. Alright, so on it we have this Mountain Dew lip gloss that I just used for my dolls. and. I got it from Big Lots. Actually, my sister got it for me. And then we have this Lego toy shark that came with one of the sets that I got. And I thought it'd just be a cool addition to add to his nightstand. And then here, since I haven't showed you guys the wall yet, but we have a J Lego Ninjago um, guy. And Jay's my favorite Lego Ninjago. And then we have the skateboard from Kalahari that I got when I went there. And um, I don't know, I just think it's a really cute toy for adults. And then sitting what was um, the J, uh, the J, Lego Ninjago, and the Kalahari um, skateboard, they were sitting in this um, Altids box, and it's a, sm uh, it's a small one. And it's pretty old, as you can see. It doesn't really look 
like that, like this anymore. So let me just put them back in here. All right, so over here I have this uh, Captain America and Iron Man kind of figurine since the Civil War just came out. Go Team Iron Man. Um, so here is one. I don't know where I got it. I think my uh, my dad got him for me for Christmas last year. And he used to have a shield. I have no idea where it went. But I just thought that it would be a nice touch to add them in as well. Alright, so this is his wall design. My favorite part are probably these Ninjago uh, things. So what I basically did is I took um, some like, um, you you know when you get photo albums and they have that uh, place where you put the photos in? Well, I cut some of those out and I wrapped them in kind of like a, a, t um, a nice like foil so that it looks like he had them like... Um, I, I don't know, framed or something like that, or they're really special, that's why they're in this covering. And as you can see on the back, it's kind of um, tapes all together. And I don't know where I got these Ninjago cards. Um, I, I don't really know, they kind of were with my Pokemon cards, so I just was like, oh, that is cool. And since I have a Jay like a Ninjago, I thought that was awesome. Alright, so here's another one of Jay. I, this one's probably Colin's favorite because it's like gold and sealed and everything. And then these are um, the double stars Jay had. And then we just have a regular Lego Ninjago um, poster kind of uh, thing, but it's not wrapped in any of the foil or anything like that. And then around there is a bunch of Avenger stickers. This one's kind of coming off, but I got those from the dollar store. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed Colin's room tour. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And I will see you guys very soon. Bye!